Good morning, young ones. It is so great to have all of you here with us today. We talked about, would well, you remember what we talked about last week? What did Luke do to me? Max, you remember. Luke stepped on my foot, Max, that is correct. And did I go and tackle him, Max? No, even though you wanted me to, I was held. I didn't tackle Luke. What I'm going to talk about today is not so much how you handle people who have wronged you, but how do you forgive them? First of all, how many times do you forgive them? Do you remember what our God talks about? Well, first of all, let's see how your um, knowledge of Old Testament Jewish leaders was. What was the rule of thumb in the Old Testament? How many times did you have to forgive someone? Keep counting. Well, I mean, okay, how, in baseball, how many strikes do you get? Three strikes, Christian, you are exactly right. That was the rule in the ancient world, too. Coincidence? I'm not sure. But yeah, three times. So that's, that's pretty good, right? So Lukey comes by, he steps on my foot. Oh, that Lukey. I forgive him. Well, the fourth time, do I have to forgive him? I do, Max. Yes, yes. Okay. And so Peter, the Apostle Peter, told Jesus, well, Lord, what if I forgive someone seven times? Now, if you have a sibling, how many times has your sibling done something mean to you? More than seven, probably, right? Yeah. Okay, well, what was Jesus' response? Do you remember? I tell you, not seven, but 70 times seven. The Greek could be translated 77 or 490. Now, I have a hard time counting that high. Just, not, well, I could actually, if you forced me to, I could count that high. But to try to remember 77 different times that someone's wronged you? What would be far easier to do? To, to forgive them. Yes, Aiden, you can forgive. Well, let me ask you this. If somebody hurts you one time, can you forgive them? Yes. If somebody hurts you ten times, can you forgive them? Yes. Now, young one. God has not set you up to be a physical or emotional punching bag. At some point, I have counseled my children, stay away from that kid, okay? That's okay. From a personal self-preservation standpoint, God wants you to just, if someone's being mean to you over and over again, you could try to be nice to them, but just stay away after a while. That's the best advice I can give you. Because that's true for adults, too. There are some mean people no matter what age you are. So, Yeah. But you never have to hold a grudge, ever. That's dangerous. Because then, number one, it's very hard to be loving. Pray for the person, by all means. And so, right now, we're going to say a prayer, but I want you to pray for yourself, that God would help you to be forgiven. And then pray for someone else. You don't have to say who it is, but if there's someone who's been mean to you, whether it's a sibling or whether it's somebody at school, that they might get control of themselves and stop being so mean. So let's hold our hands and talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, you forgive everyone instantly and completely. You died on the cross to save us from our sins. Help us to forgive other people completely. This is very difficult to do sometimes because we get mad. Help us to chase away that anger so that all that's left for us is love and forgiveness. And help the people around us who are not mean. Help them to see the error of their ways and lead them to repentance. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class. 